Okay, so video time, story time today. Um, one of my subscribers, I think, asked to make a video about what exactly is the theta state. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm going to be explaining here today is what is the theta state. Um, so how I'm going to be explaining it, I'm going to be explaining it to the best of my knowledge of what I know about the theta state um let's see oh my gosh where do i even begin let me see um just i'm gonna be getting it from like what i've learned exactly what the data state is um um through my own experience and from uh, uh learning from other people as well so oh my gosh where should i even start um the theta state is the state before um you fall asleep so it's the state between um s sleeping um dreaming and being awake okay everybody goes into it we all go into it every single night um it's just a matter of learning to tell when you're in the theta state or when you're awake you know um but once you start practicing and like um uh, uh staying i don't want to say focused but just paying attention you're gonna learn so another thing like i always say in the videos too the way another way to learn to go into the theta state is we're usually um i don't want to say in this country but most people are trained like when i go to bed i want to knock out and go to sleep and be asleep knock out like a light right okay so um to even do for some of my channels obe to be able to obe and to get into the theta state you don't want to be exhausted because if you are exhausted, you're going to totally, I mean, you might not skip the state, theta state, but you're going to go from being awake to knocked out asleep and you're going to most times skip the theta state and skip that powerfulness. Like, oh my gosh, you're missing so much from skipping the theta state. Like, it's amazing. Um, The theta state is great for manifesting. But anyway, so um, you don't want to be so tired that you're going straight from being awake, laying down, going to bed. You don't want that, okay? So I know it's a little bit hard, but try going to bed maybe 30 minutes earlier before bedtime. If you can do an hour, I know that seems like a long time. Um, try in the beginning 30 minutes. 30 minutes before you normally go to bed, you're going to be laying there. You're going to be awake, um, keeping your eyes closed, and you'll start to notice um, it's like kind of a dream state, right? Um, it's kind of a dream state, but... Okay, so while I'm explaining it, why? Why do we need the theta state? Why do you need to go into the theta state? Um, for a, lots of reasons, plenty of great reasons, but I'm going to just give you a few. Um, so, uh, it's a great starting off point for uh, going into OBE, okay? Um, you can cleanse your energy in theta state. Another big one is contact in the theta state. For me, that's where I get most of my contact yes i do see um the beans in, in my house at nighttime and stuff but where i can actually contact them is in the theta state and there's um i can go into books later why they explain why that is um but just to do the gist of it i guess since they're like a higher vibration than our vibration of this earth of this uh, reality awake plane is a lot lower than their vibration so it's hard for them to manifest into this vibration for very long or to like if they just want to say something to you it's hard so the way that they do it a lot is also in dream state too you do you can get a lot but in the theta state you know you're awake so you know you're hearing this you know you are seeing them so that for me that's why i love the theta state i told you um in my one of my videos i was able to see my spirit guide i have a video um uh, explaining that whole thing about how I seen her and I spoke with her. Um, there's plenty of times where my uh, spirit guides speak to me in the theta state and give me super strong, um, really important messages. Um, but yeah, so you're able to hear them and you're able to see them in the theta state where you would not be able to see them in this reality plane right now. Um, let's see. Manifestation. Oh my gosh. This is probably one of the main things why I, I don't want to say main. I, I, I learned about the theta state from OBE and then, um, from man, wanting to manifest and wanting to manifest more for my life. Manifestation in the theta state is so, so, so strong. When you're in the theta state, 
I learned this from God, his podcast. I'll think of it later and I have to tell you guys his podcast. Um, Synchronicity Podcast. There you go. Okay, Synchronicity Podcast. In that he says in the theta state, and it's true, it does work. Um, whatever you want to manifest, if you want to manifest abundance, if you want to ma manifest love, if you want to manifest um whatever you want, that's for me. Uh it was manifesting abundance. So in the theta state, when you're going and when you're in the theta state, maybe I should explain more. Uh, I'll do it right in a second, but we're saying why right now. Okay. When you're in the theta state, you want to um imagine you're with somebody, a close friend, brother, or sister. Imagine something like you're seeing them, like it's there, right? Okay, you're imagining and then and then for me it was abundance. So I imagine like um my sister or my friend saying like oh my god that's amazing you're doing that or like oh my god wow you have that like imagine them like um saying like wow you did this what you wanted saying like oh wow that happened for you like as if it already happened not that it's going to happen imagine them talking to you as if this thing already happened and they're like oh wow like okay so when you're in the theta state do that over and over again for your um manifestation and that works uh, amazing for manifestation I don't know why but it does okay so that's a couple reasons there's so many more infinite reasons um, why you can go into the theta state theta state is also like I said when you're able to take off for a OBE2 um, when I could give you one explanation when I was in the theta state I was able to actually go into another person's body that was my first experience in the theta state I'll never forget it um, so so yeah so we're practicing every night going to bed earlier and it's hard to explain, but once you start doing it, you'll be able to notice like, okay, it's it's that time between awake and before you go into sleep. It's not when you're laying there with your eyes closed and you're completely awake. That's not it, okay? It's the really that in-between time. You're very close. Um, another thing I want to say to kind of get you into the day to stay easier is when you're laying down to work on the velo technique, okay? Cleansing your energy, moving your vibration up and down to get you into theta. I have the other video, um, exactly how to raise your vibration. Um, if you want to learn how to do the velo technique step by step, I have it in my other video. Um, let's see. So yeah, you're going to be wanting to work on your energy, doing the velo technique, doing the exteriorization technique, interiorization technique with your energy. And while you're doing these, uh, before bed, that's going to help you get into the theta state better. Um, so basically, I mean, that kind of is what the theta state is. God, I'm sorry, I keep touching my feet. Um, is that time between uh, sleep and awake. But it's also meditation. There you go. When people meditate and you're there, that's also the theta state. You're in the theta state. Okay. Um, like, I feel like it's kind of hard to explain, but you're going to learn. It's not hard to get in there. We go in there all the time naturally. It's just that, like I said, most of us rush to sleep. So we're not noticing when we're in theta. But once you like work on this a couple times, you're going to notice that you're in theta. Okay. Also too, another thing too with theta. Theta is when, for some people, if you see pictures before you're going to bed, pictures of people you don't know, of uh, videos, like it looks like a video or you're seeing like, a video of a lifetime or a, like a scene of people doing things or you're hearing people you are in theta already you are already in theta you just don't even know it so you're seeing things and you're hearing people so the hearing could be one or two things in the theta state your uh senses become really hyper aware so you could be hearing a conversation that's going on down the street down the block a couple streets down or you could be hearing a conversation like miles away, like in a different state, in a different country, okay? Um, um, the video, like the pictures of the people, you could, you're seeing these people, you're in theta, you're, um, you're, I don't know what exactly is happening or how it is, but your bod body, your, um, psychosoma, uh, your psychosoma is actually traveling and you're hearing these things. It's like, kind of like an antenna, almost like an, a TV where you're like picking up all this stuff. And it's amazing, like, um, I have to say, I guess, my first um, experience in Theta, when I was working on the How to OBE book, uh, uh, step by step, um, I'm working on my energies, I'm doing exteriorization, interiorization, velo technique, right? And I, I'm slowly learning about Theta, I'm, I'm getting in there, I'm figuring it out. Then, 
um what happens i am in i'm seeing a scene okay i'm seeing a scene from somebody's eyes i don't realize if i knew i was in somebody else's body at that moment but i'm in seeing it from somebody else's eyes and i'm at my old work okay i'm at my old job it was at a grocery store i'm seeing my co-worker she is in front of me let me see explain okay i'm here i'm looking this way my co-worker is in front of me she's like this backed up against some uh uh food the food wall at the grocery store backed up like this okay i'm looking at her through some other uh voice there's another person here to the left of my co-worker to the left of me and to the right of my co-worker kind of like a triangle okay i can't see who this person is and i know that they're talking but for me i'm seeing my co-worker this person not me to the left says something a remark that's kind of mean trying to be funny maybe but kind of mean and that was the crazy thing so my friend i see and also i'm hearing this person laugh me the person that i'm seeing through the eyes through i'm hearing my body laugh um but i don't god i don't remember if she she i'm hearing her laugh but i don't know if she like I think she just laughed okay i'm not I, but okay so that was the thing but i was able to sense my friend that she's laughing too but that her feelings were hurt um her feelings were hurt or she was upset by the comment but she was just like whatever so i don't know if this person laughing kind of knew that but i think she just she just laughed right but my friend um from the comment is kind of laughing too but i could tell her feelings were hurt by this comment, right? So I see this whole thing. I see it through, these are all my coworkers. I see it through one of my other coworkers' eyes. I see my coworker, I hear my coworker say something. I can't exactly remember what it was, but it was like a joke or something. And my other friend like got hurt by it, you know? After that whole thing, boom, like back into my body, I was like, whoa, holy shit. So, you know, later on you go to bed, you're like, okay, I don't know, is this, a, um, was this real? I go, um, I, I don't think I saw him for a few days. I saw him a few days later and I was like, hey, did this happen? Um, I think, I don't know if I knew it was her, her, who it was exactly. I found out who it was later. And I was like, hey, did this happen when it was like somebody here, you were right here, someone was here. And I remember thinking the name, was it like an A name, right? An A name. And I was like, was it this person with the A? And then I thought it was this person with A. And she's like, no, it was this person with the A. So I figured it out. It was somebody with the A name, but I didn't know who. But later she told me who. I don't want to say names. It's making it confusing, I guess. Um, so I figured out the person with the A name had said that, right? And I was like, did she say something? And you were like this and like they said something and then this person was laughing and you felt kind of like upset about it and she was like yeah that did happen um but then she was like no i wasn't upset about it you know i just laughed so i don't know if she was telling the truth maybe she was i felt that she was upset whatever maybe she wasn't she said she wasn't but then she told me yeah this person was this and that she laughed so then i went to the other person to ask her too did this happen like hey this whole thing happened and like you were laughing or like but you felt kind of bad about it or something and she was like yeah oh my god like yeah this that little encounter happened and i got validation from two people that this experience happened and i was somehow in this girl's body seeing this thing happen like so for me that was one of my first strongest experiences from the theta state um basically me astraling into a different person's body and seeing this little scene so that's one thing and like i i don't know i didn't choose to go there i didn't maybe just because like you're working your body automatically like oh let me go here my astral body right I, it just i saw it this thing happen so that was a crazy power in the astral that can just happen another thing um like i said i hear i do i hear the voices um the speaking um i see the clips of the people rolling i see like the faces um uh another thing for astral is like i said you're able to talk to your spirit guides you're able to hear your spirit guides you're able to see your spirit guides if you get um, really good at it and work on it all the time um and that's just working on it daily and going uh through it daily and like i said all most of these experiences that i've already gone over them um, they're in my other videos if you want to check them out, me exploring them. Um, uh, I want to explain the, the voice one a little bit more. So that one is really, I noticed that one a lot. And uh, a few times, you're not going to hear exactly what they're saying. 
like for me that one time when I heard what everything was going on and I seen everything it's not always like that that you know maybe it is for some people not for me but what I do get is the the voices um and to me uh a few times uh I've heard Jessa Reed she's another person that I'm a huge fan of Jessa Reed and Waterberry Water Baby Tarot Maybe it's because I've been like listening to them and paying attention to them that like my wavelengths are like tuned into them. So a few times I've heard Jessa's voice, like I know how she speaks and how her like her tone and her pattern of her voice is. So a few times in the Theta State, I hear her, but I don't, yeah, I can't, it's not like I can hear her and remember everything she's saying. It sounds like it's a radio tu tuning in and out kind of. And then, um, you know how sometimes people speak like the last sentence of every word is like kind of loud, right? So, um, kind of loud, right? Like how I said the last, sen like the last word was like kind of loud. So it was like, I would hear like mm -hmm, mumbling and that mm -hmm, here, no, 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 where mm -hmm, he like, so I would hear these like snatches of the conversation, but it was always the last word that like the volume went up on it and I was able to catch the last word for sure so but I knew it was her because I knew her tone and her voice and her pattern of speaking but it was like the last word was like the volume went up for some reason so like that it's not perfect um I'm sure eventually to some people it can't you can get it perfect if you're working on it every single day but um that's theta state that's my experiences that's um uh what I've learned the theta state is um, um so yeah that's it um I'm sure there's much more you could do in the theta state and learn also too yeah theta state too uh is a great takeoff from OBE because you're already out of your body um you're getting ready um you're you're able to take off easier you're in that state that higher vibration already so you're able to take off easier um have I taken off from astral from theta i don't think i've taken off from theta yet um maybe i have and i just haven't really noticed it but so that's another good one too but for me like i said theta is where i get all my contact most of my contact um my speaking contact and hearing from them um another huge one they told me uh they told me and i haven't worked on it this happened like oh my god a year ago and Okay, I gotta share this one too then. Um, the, I want to say, I don't want to say this is more the most important thing, but I know it's important because how much they were stressing it. Um, it was, I was in also theta state. So like I said, theta is before you, uh, between sleep and awake, okay? So yes, you can go in theta before to bed, but you are also in theta every single day before you wake up every single day that time when you're half awake half asleep half in dream you are in theta in the morning and that time if you're hearing somebody tell you something during that time of awake or getting some messages that's your spirit guides yelling at you and like hey we are able to get into pay attention to it okay it's important so i remember um i was the in theta i didn't really realize it because i was waking up right um and i heard them saying uh god what are they saying you they save fifteen thousand dollars i think they told me 15 15 or 10 um so bad at remembering uh it was a large amount they're like save fifteen thousand dollars and i'm like okay i'm gonna save fifteen thousand dollars but they kept repeating it they're like save fifteen thousand dollars i'm like okay i'm gonna save fifteen thousand dollars and they're like do not forget i'm like i promise i'm not gonna forget i'm not gonna forget don't forget i'm, I'm not gonna forget i'm not gonna forget do not forget they kept saying it don't forget don't forget don't forget you need to save fifteen thousand dollars and i'm like yes i'm not gonna forget i'm gonna save fifteen thousand dollars and you know how you wake up after your dream and you already forget right like it's gone like you're like oh i'm gonna remember this dream tomorrow this is amazing i'm gonna remember this dream but then you wake up and you forget that dream right so even though I'm sitting there telling them in theta, I'm not going to forget, I'm not going to forget, yes, $50,000. I remember kind of waking up in the morning, I was like, oh shit, what? You know, like, I thought, heard, what was that? And then later I was like, oh fuck, I heard them telling me multiple times to say $15,000. But the thing that tripped me out was that not only did I get that message, but they kept repeating themselves over and over and over. Don't forget, you better not forget 
don't forget don't forget so i was like damn this is important i need to save fifty thousand dollars right so for real i need to work on that they told me that it hasn't happened where i've needed that yet so i need to get on it right like that's something that's something important um but yeah so they're able to like give you important messages like they know they know better like i need to listen to them so you're able to get in contact with them and hear these important things and um see them like i said i was able to see my spirit guide literally see her see her face see her hair see her body see the clothes she was wearing see the table in front of her like like i'm looking at her. i saw her and that was in the theta state so i know i kind of wanted to be a short video but the theta state is just so amazing so much stuff and i swear i could make like probably two hours talking about the theta state but um so yeah that's it um if there's anything else you need me to like go in depth for or have any more questions please feel free to reach out to me and i'll answer them to the best of my ability i will research it and do that also to um add my instagram my instagram is esoteric underscore explorers so add me if you can have any questions there too um i also do tarot readings i do um my oracle card readings uh ten dollars for a reading but anyways, any more questions? Um, so yeah, that's the Theta State. Love you guys. Bye.